Hello and welcome back to another video. Today's a little bit different because we're looking at a very small team in terms of league stature, although they do have a massive history. Unlike my other videos, I am actually going to talk you through the history and why you should choose this team rather than just getting straight in with the team guide, but don't worry, that will be coming in about one or two minutes into the video. So if you're not German, you might be wondering who Kaiserslautern actually are. Well, Kaiserslautern actually have one of the saddest stories that football has to offer. The club were always one of the biggest teams in the 20th century and basically lifted the 1954 World Cup alongside West Germany. A lot of the players in that team were from Kaiserslautern and this is similar to what you'll hear from West Ham fans with the 1966 World Cup being theirs, for England of course. Fritz Walter was the club's biggest legend and he's a bit of an icon of the game and he was part of this squad. Around the 1990s however, they fell from Greece and fell into the second division. Around 25 years ago, they actually appointed Otto Rehagel, who eventually went on to win the Euro 2004 competition with Greece, and he managed to get the side to win the second division of German football, and then the season after, win the actual Bundesliga. So he got promoted from the second tier to winning it within two seasons. After the surprise title win, the club slowly drifted down and became a mid-table team, and with the money that they got from the Bundesliga, they decided to upgrade their stadium. This was a poor time to upgrade the stadium, and they had money issues further and further down the leagues they fell. 20 years on from winning the title, they're now in the third division of German football. Recently this season, they're looking like they're a lower half team, and the finances are still very tricky. In the past few seasons, they've nearly been relegated to the regional divisions, and this is only 25 years on from winning the title in 1997. Because Kaiserslautern are surviving by the skin of their teeth, the finances to make any transfer are risky, and success is a must. You need to be good at using the facilities, which is a pretty big stadium for the third division. You need to be good at using the youth academy, and getting good deals on the players you already have, as well as using the squad you start with. So that's a brief intro into Kaiserslautern. As always, we're now going to move into the Excel part of these videos where I put it on the screen, don't worry, it's not too boring, and I'll talk you through the squad they have, where they've got weaknesses, and where you should strengthen. So, of course, these numbers are much weaker than a usual team on here. For example, Liverpool have, you know, 20 plus overall in each position, but that's to be expected with a third division squad. The most surprising thing is how Kaiserslautern only have a single goalkeeper. He's got good potential for the level. For reference, the best players in this league are around a 70 overall, with the 74, 75s being second division of German football tier players. So Gene Zimmer is very good for this level. He's a right midfielder, and that's going to be one of their strongest positions. So in front of the single goalkeeper, they also only have a single left back. Adam Hlosek is pretty good though, he's a 69 overall, but he is getting old, so if you're not promoted in the first season, you're probably going to want to replace him either way. Centre back they have a lot of, but they're very weak. Their best centre backs are 65 and 64 overall, which as we've previously mentioned, really isn't that great for this level. They both have good potential though to be 72, which if you do keep a hold of them, you could get them into the second division and possibly with dynamic potential, the Bundesliga. Right back is a pretty poor position too. Philip Herscher is a 65 with 70 potential, but if he does reach his potential for you quickly, he's going to be good enough for the second tier too. Defensive midfields, pretty strong. Left midfield and right midfield are both going to need slight upgrades too. Central midfield is probably the weakest area of the squad after centre back. This is because quite a lot of their good players count as either CDMs or CAMs, for example Tim Ryder being a CDM and CM, and Marlon Ritter being a CAM and CM. Further forward, in the attacking third of the pitch, they don't have a single left or right winger, but that's fine because they have plenty of left and right midfielders, and they do have three strikers with an average rating of just below 65. That rating's fine, however, because Marvin Puri is a good striker for the level, and Lucas Spalvis and Elias Huth are both good as well. Huth is one to watch with his potential, because he could be good enough for the second division too, and better than Puri if you can manage to play him for a few matches. Other players with good potential in this division are Anas Uhahim, who, if he reaches his potential and plays well in the second division, could be a Bundesliga player. So I would recommend it probably starting him at right midfield over Jean Zimmer, who doesn't really have room to grow any further. But anyway, that's a quick rundown of their squad. Now let's move into some suggested transfers for them. 
Unlike the other ones, I probably can't give specific players that I'd target, but I'll let you know some types of players that you can scout and then make your own judgement on. Because the German leagues are pretty unique for FIFA in the way they have B teams, Bayern Munich 2 do have some pretty high potential players you can loan in. Jan Fiti Arp is a very good young player who could rise with you through the leagues if you can manage to get him on loan and eventually buy him when you reach the second tier. He's never going to have the potential to actually start for Bayern Munich, so I think Bayern Munich selling him could be fairly realistic if they do get a good sell-on fee on him in case he performs at his potential. I would recommend scouting the other B teams in the league for other players like this that you could pick up who can go on your road to glory with you and back to the big time. However, the squad that Kaiserslautern actually start off with is the fourth best in the league. Only Ingolstadt, Dinamo Dresden and Hansa Rostock actually have better squads than Kaiserslautern. The location of Kaiserslautern in Germany also opens you up to the ability of signing some French players from the French league. Some of the bigger French population centres that are fairly close to Kaiserslautern include Metz, Nancy and Strasbourg who all have teams who are on FIFA 21 in either the first or second division of French football. Other places you can realistically sign players from are Stuttgart and Frankfurt who are both very close to Kaiserslautern so if one of these teams would be interested in loaning you a player, I'd say it's fairly realistic that they would go to Kaiserslautern over any other team in the league. The general goal of the save will of course be to try and build on your youth because Germany does actually have one of the highest youth ratings in the game's code. You also need to focus as much as you can on getting free agents from the second and third division clubs around you and get as many loanees from the Bundesliga and the second division as you can. These kind of road to glory careers are always very fun, so if you do have a go at this one, please do let us know in the comments or on my discord which you can find in the description. The situation at Kaiserslautern is actually pretty dire. Only a couple of months ago during Covid they did actually file for insolvency as a way to get rid of the debts and take a 9 point deduction when it didn't really matter because the league had been already voted to end. Unfortunately FIFA doesn't really model the actual difficulty of managing this team in the game. They have one of the best teams despite them actually fighting relegation in real life. But please, please, please do read upon the history of Kaiserslautern if you do give this a go, because I'm sure there's some aspects of it that I've missed in my little introduction I did earlier. That's another key thing that I always think is important when you do do a road to glory, is to try and get the history and tradition of the clubs in the way that you're playing with them. There isn't too much difference between Kaiserslautern and many of the other teams in terms of squad structure. They all have mainly German players and a few Turkish or Eastern European players, for example Hlosek and Spahit, who are from Czech Republic and Bosnia respectively. So you'd probably miss out on some of their bigger traditions if you did just go from the squad like you usually can in FIFA. If you aren't a fan of Kaiserslautern and you do want to do a German third league division career mode, then I highly recommend that too. There's a lot of passion in this league and it's more traditional football than you probably expect from other leagues around the world. So if you do give it a go, make sure no matter who you pick, you read up on the teams. Even a brief glance through Wikipedia is good enough most of the time to get some of their bigger traditions and make sure you keep them for your career mode. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. I know I rambled there for a little bit about reading Wikipedia, but thank you for making it this far if you did make it this far. I mean, if you're hearing this, of course you made it this far. But anyway, thank you for watching, and I hope I'll see you in the next video, and say goodbye, and cheers.